So yeah, Dallas, Texas isn't supposed to be under ice, but here we are. We went and got our dog food. Now we're going to get us some groceries. We've been out of groceries here the last few days. I've got to be real careful as to how I walk here because we have freezing rain coming down and uh, it's pretty slippery. So I actually had to make a rerun at it. My truck did not get up the uh, my truck did not get up the uh, the hill over there by the pet food store. So I had to back out when the coast is clear, hug you, turn over the median, and then go back around like that. Check with you on the way. Yeah, guys, she's a bad mofo, this truck, but she ain't cut out for ice. And let me tell you, I don't care what kind of tires you got. I don't care what kind of four-wheel drive system you got. I don't care what kind of clearance you got. You see that freezing rain coming down? You ain't no match. Okay, guys, so we are journeying our way back home on the icy roads of North Texas. So let's see how this goes, yeah? Um, yeah, this is uh, this is pretty bad. We have a full-on uh, freezing rainstorm going on on top of the slush and ice that we've already got. So this stuff obviously is going to freeze up tonight and make this place a freaking skating rink tomorrow. Um, this is why I got out and did my grocery shopping and my dog uh, food today because I know for a fact, well, I don't know for a fact, high likelihood that uh, tomorrow these roads will not be passable. Uh, they're in pretty good shape right now. The main roads are, as you can tell, not bad at all. Uh, like I said, when I was going into Petco there, I couldn't get up the incline because of the, uh, because of the ice. You know, you can see the ice on the side streets there. Wherever the sanding trucks don't get to, obviously, you know, you're not going to have any relief from that. But uh, it's all downhill uh, to my house here, guys. Uh, you're going to go with me. We're going to stop by and see Baba OB, Baba OB. Get us some Powerball tickets and some Texas Lotto tickets. Uh, you never know, man. You never know. It only takes one ticket to win, right? And I figure with all the bad luck I've had to endure the last two years, I figure I'm about due for some really, really, really good luck. So we're going to stop by and see Baba OB. He's our good man up here at the corner store. And uh, we'll get back out here in the truck and I will uh, I will pick y'all back up, okay? Thanks. And guys, wouldn't you know it, I don't care what day it is, Baba OB never closes. It looks like Baba OB is closed. There's a sign in there that says open, but I don't think so. I think they're closed, yeah. I don't see any lights on. We're gonna go give it a try, but I think they're closed. Okay guys, since Baba OB is not open, he is closed today, which I don't understand. Uh, hmm, that's weird. He's never closed. Not on Ramadan, not on Christmas, not on Czech New Year, not on Poplar New Year, nothing. So, uh, we're going to go down here to the Quick Trip and see if they're open. Sell us some tickets down there. Uh, currently it is about 27 degrees Fahrenheit here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Skies are overcast with intermittent freezing rain uh, slash sleet. I think it's freezing uh, and then it's warming up and then it's freezing again by the time it hits the surface. It looks as though it's uh, my windshield's warm enough because I have the defrosters on to melt it as it's hitting my defroster. But I'm only allowed to go, or I'm only able to go about 30 miles an hour safely, so... I know some of you guys up to the north, you're laughing at us Texans going, really? But dude, what you guys don't know is there's ice everywhere. It's not snow. I can drive in snow. I've got mud snow tires, Michelin, on this truck. Guys, you ain't got a tire in the world that's going to help you with ice. Uh, we just saw a police officer over here uh, helping somebody get unstuck, and he had chains on. Uh, I don't believe I've ever seen... I don't believe I've ever seen uh, a cop car with chains on. And now here we are going through a school zone. Although we don't have to worry, I gotta keep the phone down. You're not supposed to use a phone in the school zone, but uh, there's no school today, obviously. 
but it is still a school zone, so we're going to slow our ass down. And this is like the longest school zone known to man. It's like a mile long, so... You know. But it's okay, guys. Once we get home here in a little bit, we're not going to have to go back out until Friday or Saturday, so... And it doesn't look like there's a lot of tree damage here, luckily. Uh, not yet, at least. Now, tonight may be a different deal. As we are getting more freezing rain now. So, some of these oak trees that still have their foliage on them that are heavy, you know, they might, uh, they might uh, break. So, let's get up here to the quick trip. I'll be back with you. All right, guys, we're just up here by the quick trip. Uh block or so away uh, headed into Dallas so I live in Carrollton which is Denton County and we are right here on a triangle so we are very quickly we are approaching Dallas and Dallas County instead of Denton County you see some snow and ice still over there guys a um, little bit over there I think this stuff may melt off actually there's just not enough ground uh, to keep all this stuff cool that long. I think, uh, I really do think this stuff's gonna melt off before it comes an issue tonight. Um, it is below freezing, yes it is, but uh, I just don't think it's gonna be, you know, that big of an issue. Of course, I'm right here on this icy little turnabout, so let's see if I can get enough traction. Yeah, just take your foot off the accelerator and let the truck uh, take off for you. And then you, uh, you have it. Now guys, this truck here that we're riding in today has 272,000 miles in it, all original. I bought the rig when it had four miles or five miles on it and they let me drive it off the showroom floor. It was on the rounder, the automated uh, round thing, the rotating thing in the, in the showcase there, showstopper. But uh, so now I have a perpetual engine check light on and generally the brake light is on over here, over there, but uh, it's not on for some reason right now. So we're here at the quick trip, guys. We're gonna go get us some uh, some Texas Lotto tickets. We'll be back. All right, guys, we're in and out of quick trip, just like that. Um, I don't know what that guy's doing, just sitting there. Don't worry about us, guy. We ain't got no place to go. You can just block us in, no problem. So luckily, guys, I live very close by. Um, here, so I don't have to worry about too much uh, rear tires getting out from underneath me. I'm going to go slow. I'm in a school zone here anyway. And we're headed back home, guys. We got all of our supplies, all of our sundries. And I hope that wherever you guys are, you are safe and warm. Hopefully cuddled up with a loved one, a dog, a body pillow, side piece, whatever you got, you know. I uh, hope that everybody's content and happy and warm and a belly full of food and love and laughter around you. That's what I hope for all of you guys watching this video. Uh, you know, happiness really, guys, is not really the environment we're in. Happiness is what we say it is, right? So we actually are in charge of creating, creating our own happiness, yeah? Uh, you know, I, uh, I've had to do that a lot of times in my life, as I'm sure you have. So we're just gonna make the best of whatever situation we find ourselves in. And I don't give a damn if it's ice. I don't know if y'all can see that shininess. Part of that's rain, part of that's ice that's trying to melt. Guys, that's some crazy shit, man. I'm going slow. Samson's got good gearing underneath him, so he's good to go. Samson's what I call my truck. Uh, I bought this truck brand new in 20, uh, 2001. It is a first generation Toyota Tundra. It has got the V6 3400 uh, twin overhead cam uh, motor. Runs like a scalded dog. Pulls a trailer. Doesn't pull a trailer as good as it used to. But high mileage, you know, you lose compression over time. So um, I'm sure that has something to do with it. But this truck, guys, is solid. I uh, love driving it. It gives me very much confidence here uh, on this slush and ice. Although, like I said earlier, guys, you really don't. We're going over railroad track. And we're going to get over here. We're going to cross over this ice right here. 
you really don't have sure footedness on ice. I don't care, like I said, I don't care what kind of rig you got. If you're in one of those brand new electric Hummers, you still ain't gonna go nowhere on this ice. And you got some idiot over there, look at that. All this freaking craziness, guys. Well, luckily enough, yeah, there's our brake light in action. Look at there, guys, our brake light's on. Okay, now when you get down these side roads, guys, you really gotta be careful, okay? I can hear the ice crunching underneath the rig. So we're gonna be real careful here. Make sure there's no squirrels or anything that pop out in front of us. So we will not be able to stop. Kind of fun actually driving around on ice when you have a little bit of common sense and a lot of patience. A little bit of common sense and a lot of patience, guys. All that is required when you're out driving in the uh, conditions. Now, like I said, this is not the same as Auburn, New York. You know, this is not the same as probably West Virginia or Minnesota or Michigan or Canada for sure up there. Um, but guys, this is what we're dealing with. And like I said, here in Texas, we are not accustomed to this. And we're about to turn down my alleyway, which is very, 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 very icy. And I know because I just came up it. We're gonna come straight through here. This is solid ice right here that I'm on. And now we're back on terra firma. So yeah, we're getting lucky. A lot of this ice is melting as we speak. Um, but a lot of it's still kind of hanging in there. So I can, I can tell when I hit ice because my wheels make a certain sound. Yep, we're on ice right there too. Look, we're probably gonna hit this curb. Yep, 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 yep. Oh shit, nope, we didn't. You see how we slid around that corner? I had no front steering. Like I said, I just took my foot off of the gas and I just let the truck do what the truck's gonna do. Okay, so right here, guys, we're going around this corner. Oh, I can't stop, I can't turn, I can't do shit. I'm just gonna let it go. I'm just gonna let it go, guys, around this corner. That's all I can do. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you can hear the motor rev up a little bit because there's ice back there, but. And just like this, guys, we are home safely. We are home safely. I say to you, Bob, we are home safely. Oh, look at that, we cannot turn, we cannot do shit. And I do know, though, that right there is dry concrete. So here we go. Okay, guys, thanks for journeying with me. I'm glad that uh, we got home safe. Hope you guys are safe. Uh, eat an extra bowl of Doritos or cereal or popcorn or whatever makes your belly happy, guys. Warm up. Talk to you later. Barbecue Rockstar out. Okay, guys, radio edit. So I made it to uh, one grocery store, one pet food store, and two convenience stores with virtually no problems. I get over here, guys, solid ice. This is the back walkway to my back door here. This is, and I guarantee I almost lost it three or four times, which anybody that knows me, that's not gonna be good because I've got steel hardware in my back. And if I fall, that's just not gonna be good. But this stuff right here, guys, pure ice. Slipperier than Al Snot, guys. All right, as you were, bye-bye. Thank you, bye.